Happy Saturday, League. This is Jeff, your commissioner with your Week 10 predictions. I do apologize for not getting them to you yesterday. Things are a little crazy at work, but I um, could not believe the outroar and um, the passion from you guys to get these predictions up. So I do appreciate that. So I had to come through today and uh, deliver them to you guys. I want to thank Doug Martin for putting me in this position. His four touchdowns, 250 yards, had to drive west, batshit. So uh, love seeing that crazy outlandish performance. So I want to dive into predictions, but before that, um, we have a word from our announcer. Uh, take a commercial break here. Brian O'Neill is running for commissioner in 2013. Is he right for the league? Is he the best commissioner for us? I don't think so. Do we really want a man that masturbates while on trips with friends and gets caught? Do we want a man that does butt chugs at bars before midterms? Do we want a man that does bets for jerseys and returns the jerseys after losing a bet? I think not. Vote Gunlock 2013. This message has been sponsored by Gunlock. Okay, without further ado, let's get into our Week 10 predictions. For the first matchup, we have Dave and O'Neal going. O'Neal already put up two points with Rashard Jennings Thursday Night Football. Not going to cut it against Dave's team, who's absolutely rolling. Um, go, ahead, go ahead and give this one to Dave. He's going to hold on to first place again for another week. Second matchup, Kevin Shaw versus Bright. Um, both teams 3-6. and six. Need this to say with uh, playoff hopes. They're all right in it. Going to give this one to Bright. Um, looks like his team's projected to put up more points, so hopefully he comes through. Happy birthday again, Bright. This is you on uh, the 95 slide dancing up on stage. Third matchup, we have Sinelli and Buller. Buller needs this for any hope of staying within uh, playoffs. Um, let's hope the Broncos can put it together against Carolina. Otherwise, um, I am going to give this one to Sinelli. I think Buller's too busy eating too much cotton candy and um, stuffs himself silly and loses this week. Another matchup, West versus Olin. Olin is on a... Was on a tailspin there. Finally got through with the win last week. Um, West's team has been playing well, even though it was on a three-game three skid. Going to go ahead and give this one to West, as I believe he parties his ass off in USC, takes another um, mallet beer chug, and takes this one to victory. Last matchup, Jeff versus Freed. Um, solid matchup. Whoever's going to take second place here, who I feel like. Um, going to go ahead and give this one to Freed. I know his team's projected to go play out of their ass, but I'll go ahead and give it to you this week, buddy. And uh, I'm too busy eating uh, tortas and shitting my face off. <laughs> and uh, good luck this week. Uh, Wes, thanks for hosting us last weekend. Can't wait to come down there again.